Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. Got one here to try out for David, the owner of uh, Midtown Collins, Collins Midtown Liquor, liquor Store. Um, he got these, I guess, from some of the, the sales people that work there, maybe, at Welltown Brewing um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So this is a Siesta Cerveza. Classic Mexican style lager with a bold modern twist. You got crisp, malty, and zesty. Best served with a lime wedge. I don't have a lime wedge. Wish I did. 8% ABV. He gave me these to try. Um, kind of give him an idea on what I thought of him and if it would be one that maybe he should um, get some from him to sell out of his liquor store so I've uh, I've been I've been reviewing ahead of him my son's uh, beers he got me for Father's Day so I've been kind of focusing on them I was focusing on some of these that he gave me too but now now my son's um, beers or I've already reviewed all them so now I'm down to I think I got two more of David's to do and this is one of them it's nice and cold 8% ABV this is a this is a big this is a big one right here I remember to bring out my little tool that was made for me by a gentleman I worked with it's hot it's hot out here. I'm in the shade too and it's still pretty hot. Okay. That's a deep gold, amber colored lager there got a finger of head the head is going away fairly quickly like a lager pretty much does has a very light haziness to it just a light cloudiness got some nice carbonation coming up through there what head is there it's white Spacious bubbles. Oh, wow. Wow. This already smells like it has lime in it. It says uh, zesty. Smells like I'm getting some hops there. A little bit of maltiness. Oh. Light to medium maltiness on the aroma. Smells really good. Wow. Okay. 8%. I'm not smelling any alcohol. Let's see if I taste it. That's good. That is a good, that's a good beer. There's a lot of flavor to this. With the, there's some maltiness, there's more maltiness on the taste than on the aroma. You get it a lot on the back end. 
it's mixing in with what alcohol they with the alcohol um, that eight percent you get uh, get a hoppiness the maltiness um, There's some bitterness on the back end. It may be contributed to the, like a barley malt kind of bitterness. Um, at 8% on a lot of beers, sometimes, yeah, excuse me, that alcohol is gonna really be showing through. Um, you get it on this, but it really balances out with these flavors that are in here really well, in my opinion. Wow, that is really good. Um, I got a little bit of a limey thing on the aroma. I'm not really getting a lime on the taste. I was just guessing lime because that's kind of what I smelled. Um, it says uh, a zestiness. So I'm trying to... I don't really get a zestiness myself. This would be good with a lime wedge. I agree. <clears throat> um, the maltiness is there pretty good. Crisp. Ants. Crisp. Mm, I don't think it's, I don't think it has a crispness. Um, no, I mean, I wouldn't call it that. This is a nice, relaxing. A nice relaxing beer with that eight percent you wouldn't be able to drink too many of these this is a nice drink one of these when you get home to relax and then maybe drink a couple you know 3.4 4.5s something lighter on the ABV um, and go to bed <laughs> no but yeah, this is with that eight percent. I, I don't usually find like anything above five percent too much of a crisp type of a feeling. Those kind of beers, to me, are more in the way of um, a little bit lighter ABV um, lagers, usually. <clears throat> but. but Somebody, somebody got, got that characteristic. Otherwise, I don't think they'd put it on the can. I'm just not getting it personally. But uh, this is a really good flavored beer. <clears throat> if you live in Oklahoma, you see this, it'd be worth getting a six pack of this. Yeah. I don't know if they distribute any, any, anywhere, anywhere else besides Oklahoma. <clears throat> I don't know how all that works. But it's a really good one. Light carbonation. You got a medium body on it. It's warming up, but it's still good. It's still it's still a nice tasting beer. <clears throat> David, if you're watching this, this would be one. I, I would, uh, I would invest in getting a few of these in your liquor store. Yeah, a nice, sophisticated-looking can. 
nice colors. Siesta cerveza. Siesta is a nap, isn't it? That's a sleep. You sleep. If you drink too many of these, you would sleep. <laughs> So this is Sleepy, Sleepy Cerveza. I just got off work not too long ago, so I'm, I'm tired, and, uh, oh, excuse me, and um, just relaxing with this beer and yeah man that's good these flavors just hit your palate and man it just it just lights it up it's awesome okay long well, ended here I thank you all for watching I appreciate it thank you David for giving me these to try this one here to try I think I got I think I got one more of yours to do yeah I think I got one more there you go all right thanks for watching I appreciate it we'll see you on the next one excuse me bye